the man to beat me haven't been born yet. This is the business, and y'all ain't getting nothing for free And if you devils play broke, then I'm taking your company You could call it reparations or restitution Lock and load, nigga This is Dabu7 Wanting to share with you here just a little bit of information Coming from the founder of the Arizona Border Recon He is stating that people need to wake up and realize That your border is not secure The picture you're looking at here is from 2014 this group of guys took it upon themselves to gear up, take their knowledge, and go down and protect the southern border. Some pretty interesting details here. They state that they've been trying to warn the FBI for a long time that sprinkled among these groups of immigrants are other nationalities, and it seems no one's wanting to listen. But why would that be? Why would the FBI and all these other groups just not want to hear what you have to say? Doesn't it start to become rather obvious who's behind all this? Why, as soon as Obama comes in, he depletes our southern border, taking down the aerostats, taking down the technology out of the towers, leaving us depleted on that southern border, to where if a real army tried to surge across there, they'd roll right on through. What are you going to do? What's America going to do? Half your troops are overseas fighting another war. The only people that are going to be there are what, your alphabet gangs? What are they doing? What have they been doing? What's customs and border, border security been doing? Nothing. If they've been doing something, it's not what we want. Yet you have patriot groups like these Arizona Border Recon that are small in number trying to do everything they can that is seeing something ominous going down on our border. I've been saying it for a long time. Joe Biden went down South America, hopped on a bullhorn, told all the, all the people down there, oh, if your kids make it into the United States, you can get in to get them. Once you get in, we'll deal with it then. Oh, really? Then they started coming by the train loads. Same organized push happening over in Europe, and it's going to double back this way, I guarantee it. What's to stop an army from crossing that southern border? Nothing, except for patriots that you see right here, and they're going to be outnumbered. And what do they have to say? Well, they've been screaming at the FBI. No one wants to listen. They have trail cameras that show Somalis, Middle Eastern guys with long beards and everything else making their way across. And they're watching the folks over in L.A. from a satellite in real time for crime. They've been doing that for years. They could rewind in real time like TiVo, the police can, in California. And if a bank got robbed, guess what? They can go to that satellite feed in real time and they can rewind. They can see who went to that bank, who entered that bank, and where they came from all throughout the city, tracking them back step by step, second by second. And you're telling me that they have nothing set up for our border? It comes rather obvious it's a huge setup, guys. If this country's going to fall and go down or get invaded by any way whatsoever, it will be from Mexico. These guys know it. These guys are warning it. People can say, oh, whatever. It, nothing's ever going to happen. Right. You just keep on thinking that. You just keep on thinking that and you'll be one of the dumbasses that gets swooped up in this whole thing under martial law and carried off thinking that you're going to get a hot shower, a warm meal, and go into a safe place because they're there to protect you. Isn't that how you think? Run to the government to help you. Run to the military. Jump in the back of their trucks like they did in World War II. Off to the camps. And people just want to laugh at it. You think it's conspiracy theory. You think it's never going to happen. Because they play you like that. I'm here to tell you, it's coming sooner than later. And in my belief, they've got hell in a handbasket ready to serve up to the American people before Obama leaves office. That's how I see it. That's the vibe I get. I'm preparing for that. I suggest you do too. It's time to make a stand, guys. And if you have it in you to create a group out there, do it. 
band together let it be known create the name put it out there we need more and we need to rally them under one banner quickly as promised some more information here on this story i had mentioned it on real talk live and also in another video where here recently a flight landed at jfk international airport and a hundred and some people coming from mexico just walked right on through the airport and into the united states We've seen all these different events across the United States and the globe here recently. Specifically, the big events in Europe kind of leeching off into these other areas with these other governments and in mainstream outlets using the propaganda and the PSYOP uh, to spin it their own way. But what we've seen here is in the past couple years, there's no doubt been a push to get migrants into this country. I mean, we had a flood of them coming up to the southern border at one point and then stopped. Okay? And with this latest incident that you guys are going to see here, this involves a witness in Pennsylvania, Middletown, Pennsylvania, that claims that he saw at least 30 buses being filled with people that were disembarking off this UPS flight. It was at Harrisburg International Airport last Thursday. Now, I found more information over here uh, in an article that Shepard had dropped. And, you know, at this point, an eyewitness account is information that you can pretty much share with, with the people, but you have to use discernment. And at this point, you know, the eyewitnesses say they saw this all go down, but what is rather interesting is is they caught a lot of this on video. They have the buses that they were slip, slipping out of there with an FBI escort, they say, that hopped on the highway, and they followed them. They were recording this. They caught the buses. One bus number was 245. So there is some information here to let others run with, to go digging with, look into the buses, look into the bus numbers, see what they're doing, who they are, who they're owned by, and then we might get somewhere else where their destinations were, who they're on contract through at the moment. You know, with an FBI es escort, it's highly suspect. Who were they anyway, and why were they coming in on UPS flights? Why were they coming in on UPS flights with an FBI entourage? Highly suspect, to say the least. But these these are events that people are reporting and that we're seeing across the country. Now, two suspect events here in a small window of time between JFK and this airport. So it's almost like, all right, what's next? But if you guys see anything like this out there, if you see suspect activity at any airport, where they're bringing in buses and they're taking people off these planes and, and directly onto these buses and skipping the whole damn airport and then taking taking them out of there so no one sees them, can question them, photograph them or anything. Man, that's, that's stuff we all need to know. And then we need to, guys like that that followed them, man, they need to follow them as far as you can to wherever they go. And we need to know that, that destination point, and hopefully get them unloading from there. 